Hi, this is Tim from Scott Country International. Exciting times uh, for me today. Got back from walking the dog, a little DPD app pinged up, and uh, there's a delivery there arrived from uh, Scott Country. So we all know how much I loved my Accolade XP50 Pro LRFs. Swore by them, wouldn't have been without them. Uh, but saw the new kid at the game fair, the new merger, had to have it, went and got it. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing of that. Welcome to the Night Vision Show. Now what we're gonna to do today is do a quick unboxing of this. Uh, again, it's literally arrived this morning. Been doing loads of stuff around the house and whatnot, so not had a chance to open it up yet. So we're gonna have a, a go through and see what we've got. So, as you'd expect there, the normal box that comes with Pulsar stuff. In the box then we've got a uh, quick start guide, and your instructions. We've got your stream vision, mobile phone leaflet to get you hooked up with stream vision, everything you need to do there. In the box we've got accessory box and the actual device itself. So we're going to do open up the accessory box, lay it all out and see what we've got within there. And what we've got in there is an APS free battery with a nice little uh, Pulsar logo battery cap on the end there, which is a nice touch, not seen one of them before. We've got your APS free uh, double dock battery, that's micro US, uh, USB C, micro USB charging port on that. We've got a a US, micro USB to USB-C type charging port. So that's obviously a charging cable for your batteries. We've got another charging cable, which has got an angled uh, USB-C on, and the adapter, micro USB to normal USB. So the data transfer into a computer, or if you need to use that, a charging cable. We've got a mi micro USB-C uh, UK charging plug, and a, uh, a camera tripod adapter which I guess screws in the bottom of your merger and then onto a bracket somewhere but we'll have a fiddle around with that later. So that's the accessory box and then we'll get rid of that and then the device itself obviously as you expect of all Pulsar products they come in a nice little uh, jazzy case with a logo on a nice little carrying strap make a good lunch bag Open up the uh, bag. Right. The device itself. Inside the bag, in the top top flap here, we've got your standard cleaning cloth for your lens. And like a little net pouch. Uh, and then everything's obviously all lined up nicely within the bag. Another little uh, compartment on the back here. which doesn't actually go anywhere. It's just like an expansion zip. So, not sure what that's for, random. And then we've got the merger themselves. That's the actual device. Obviously, you've probably seen loads of videos on these already or add hands on them at the game fair or something like that, but again, from the accolades, these have gone to a, a conventional binocular configuration instead of the square box that an accolade was. Two objective lenses on the end there. We've got one, which is your fast f150 lens. Your focus ring on there, which is actually nice and uh, slick. Also with brand new stuff, you normally get a um, bit of a break-in period on the controls. Your other objective lens then is your uh, laser range finder. We'll see up to a thousand meters on that, under that lens cap. Moving across the top, you've got your plus and minus there for obviously, I'm gonna guess there'll be your menus and your zoom in and out, and a menu button there. I'll have a play around with these later. Obviously power button, small camera icon on the top there. I guess that'll be for record, and obviously your arrow uh, with an image there, so that'll be your laser range finder. Now on the, on the end, obviously your, your ocular lens there, you've got 
your focus so you can adjust both of them to suit your eye. And the way I do that is just leave the lens cap shut, adjust them until they're both, all the uh, telemetry inside is crisp and sharp and you never need to touch them again then. You've got the rubber eye pieces there that I feels like they've been made out of a different material compared to the accolades. They, uh, they feel more rubbery as a, or plasticky, should I say, as opposed to the rubber ones that the accolades were, but I said, I'll see how long they last. Again, you can adjust the eyepieces in and out. So if you've got a big fish head, you can put them out and your eyes around the side of your head. You can open them right up or you can adjust them back in for every normal person. Also got them open there. So there's your compartment there for your APS-3 battery. Now, if you can just see that little red uh, sensor, that's your PIR sensor there for when you put them up to your face, it senses that you're, they're on your face and they need to be used. So they turn on and then when you take them away from your face, that senses that it's gone and they're going to automatic standby. So that is a really neat feature that I like on the, uh, on the merger. And standard APS-3 there. So if you've got a few of them across your other products, that slides into the top there, like so. And then you can power up your device. So remove the battery. There's a small logo there, the pulsar on it. Press, and that releases the APS-3 there that you can swap out. Obviously got an internal battery built in and an external removable APS-3. So that's them, that's the merger. XP50 LRF. Really looking forward to getting out with these. Oh, one last thing I forgot to say on there is your uh, spigot there for put your camera tripod on and the USB-C cover to either do your data transfer to take your footage off or to charge the uh, internal battery. So like I was saying then, so I'm really looking forward to getting out with these. Again, from what I saw of them at the game fair, you can't really get a true, a true feel for a device. Uh, in them sort of conditions until you sort of get out in the field and get everything in the uh, good atmospheric conditions and the moisture and whatnot. But if there's anything for what I've seen so far, I'll be really impressed. So I'll kick and scream if they bring an XP50 Pro out in about four months, I'll be so upset and I'll probably give up shooting. Nah, not really. Anyway, it's been Tim for Scott Country International and the Night Vision Show. Stay tuned, look forward to all the footage I'll be producing with these over the uh, the coming weeks, and we'll see how we get on with these. Happy days. Cheers, guys. See you later.